Hey, today we'll be taking a look at the physical starlight and atmosphere add-on for Blender. This add-on allows you to create and customize your own stunning HDRIs within seconds, and it's been used by many big names within the industry for environment design. So to get started, if you don't have this add-on already, you can buy it using the affiliate link in my description. To add this to Blender, you can go to the Preferences tab and install it in the add-on section. Now in your main scene, if you press N on your keyboard, you should see the add-on in the side panel. I've set up a scene of this person looking out into a city with some mountains in the background, and besides the character itself, everything is untextured, and if we go into the rendered view, you can see that there are no additional lights. This add-on works with Eevee as well, but I'll be using cycles for this demonstration. I'll also enable viewport denoising in the render properties tab. So to start using the add-on, just check this box here, and right away we have a really nice atmosphere with the sun, clouds, and also a couple stars. We can easily change the position of the sun, and something I find really cool is that when you change the elevation, the brightness and color of the atmosphere change accordingly as well. So I'll set the horizontal rotation to 31 degrees and the vertical rotation to negative 88 degrees. So the scene is around sunset and the towers are casting some nice shadows in this area. I'll also change the temperature settings so the scene looks more orange. And we can also choose to remove the sun or change the diameter, but I like how this looks so I won't change those. Now what I find pretty cool is this binary sun option here, which lets us add an additional sun with its own customizable settings. We can also animate the suns moving by just adding a couple keyframes at different points in the timeline, and this applies for all the other settings as well. For now, I'll keep that how it is, and we can move on to the atmosphere settings. I'll change the density of the atmosphere to 1.7, which creates some nice fog effects. We can also change the height and intensity of the atmosphere, and with the color settings, we can really change the mood and style of the entire scene. I think it would be nice if the color of the atmosphere were more red, so I'll slightly change the color settings. You can also change the inscattering and absorption colors to affect different layers. Now we can move on to adding stars and clouds. You can choose to add your own textures for the stars and clouds, but I like to stick with the procedural option because there are a lot of customization options. I'll increase the intensity of the stars as well as the scale. And for the clouds, I'll change the seed to 20, change the scale to 2, and decrease the thickness a bit. The object fog setting can be used as well if you want to add those effects to objects within the scene. And in the ground settings, we can change the horizon and ground offset. Last but not least, this add-on has an artistic controls tab, which has a scalar distance setting for some atmospheric effects, sun radiance glare, and also a falloff setting that I found very useful to make the buildings in the city stand out instead of just blending in with the mountains. To make the scene look more cinematic, you can increase the contrast under color management in the render properties tab and hit render when you're finished. Overall, I think this add-on is great at creating quick customizable HDRIs and is an incredible tool for anyone using Blender for environment design. The atmosphere I created has a pretty realistic look, but you can create atmospheres with very unique stylistic choices as well. If you're looking to create some scenes that are more abstract, maybe an alien planet or a synthwave city, you'll likely be able to use this tool to do so. And here are some more scenes I was able to render using different presets which come with the add-on. Once again, the download link for this add-on is in the description if you're interested, and thank you all for watching.